Hey, what's happening, guys? Mike Moo here. I am directly recording using audio from the Maono Maono All-in-One Podcast Production Studio. This is a two hundred dollar product, and it includes everything that you need to get started with one person. What do you think of the sound quality? Uh, right now, I have the included microphone. It is set on Phantom Power. It's a condenser microphone, and I have that connected using only their equipment directly to the Mono, and then from my USB cable out from my MacBook Pro directly into my recording software, which is right now Camtasia. So I, I do this a lot when I'm recording tutorials. And so this is this is with the mic gain set up to be roughly just past the halfway point. I have the mic one input set up to level eight. And I have the mode, it has a few modes here. There's a studio mode, a KTV mode, a church mode, a hall mode, a valley mode, and a room mode. And then on top of that, I have a few other uh, button settings down here, including a female. This is what happens when I turn on the female sound. This is the male sound, and this is the robot sound, and this is the baby sound. Some of these I typically find to be potentially very annoying, uh, very limited use case scenarios, but the fact is that they do have them available. It's included in here. Plus, I have a bunch of little sound pads down here. Now I left everything default. I'm sure you can configure some of these. Maybe not all of them, so this is the first one. Uh, I gotta turn on the effect. Well, actually, I gotta assign these, don't I? So I'll just assign these a little bit later. It sounds like when I press the button, there's a little bit of a day. That one sound is Okay, well that one is obviously for censorship. This one has nothing on it yet. Just trying a few of the different sounds. Of course, you, you can assign any number of sounds on these, I believe. Uh, but right now, I just have a censorship sound down here. Now, as far as the modes, this is the regular studio mode, which is where I'm normally using it. And then let me switch over to KTV. This is KTV. This one is church. This one is hall. This one is valley. This one is room. Again, very limited use for someone like myself who's just using this for podcasting. Now, I'm able to put in a phone input and an aux input at the same time, mix those guys in here together. I can adjust the pitch. So, for instance, I'm adjusting this pitch higher now. And then all the way down. And that I can do relatively easily with this little knob over here. Now, the effect settings. Uh, this is just to adjust the level of sound of the effects. And then the monitor allows me to go ahead and hear what's going on live from the headset, the head unit that is included. So these headphones, of course, are included. All right, so here are some of the features and functionalities. Um, and this is Mono AU-AM100, just so you can hear what it sounds like. AU-AM100, portable all-in-one podcast production studio. Fully integrated. It is fairly easy to use as long as you know how to plug certain things in. As far as affordable, I would definitely say that. Um, to have all this together that comes in this box here with the microphone, the mic cables, all the cables that you need to plug into most things, you'll need an adapter for your smartphone though. So if you have, an, for instance, if you have an iOS, you're going to have to go ahead and get one of those lightning adapters. And it even has a, it even has a built-in battery pack, so you don't even you could just charge it up and use it on and go. So, for instance, I'm using it right here on the floor of the den. Easy set up, just plug a couple of things in, and I'm pretty good to go. Now, as far as the quality of the sound, I'm going to have to say uh, the one that I'm used to using is the Rodecaster Pro. That is a much more expensive product, just for the mixer alone. Okay, so. 
Um, that's at least three or four times the price of this. It doesn't include any of these other things. Uh, so this is definitely compact. All right, let's go over that. It's fully integrated, it's built-in battery, multi-channel mixing. You also have multi-channel streaming capabilities. It has decent quality preamps. It has the voice effects that you heard. It has noise reduction, which I have on right now. You probably can't tell, but I actually have other people in the house making some noise. Most of it doesn't show up here. There's a little bit of a noise gate too. So it produces absolute silent sound until it reaches a certain threshold. Now, from what I can tell here, it doesn't look like I can configure any of those settings, but by default, it seems pretty, pretty good. As far as quality build, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so it, uh, it definitely exceeds my expectations of something that is a little bit lower in the price range. Now, let's see. The Monocaster Portable Podcast Studio. I'm just reading this copy here so you can hear what this sounds like. It greatly simplifies the podcast production process by integrating several digital audio mixing equipments in one comprehensive solution at an extremely affordable price. It is very easy to set up and use in any room to record or broadcast live. It delivers superb sound quality and offers intuitive and full control that suits the needs of both beginners and seasoned broadcasters. It's funny because they have a little mark over here. I give you some examples of what you could be using it for. It's supposed to be your personal radio that could work okay as well. I could definitely see this used for podcasting and streaming and recording if you don't have uh, much of anything else just right off the bat. Now, we have, let's see, it, it features a built-in 5,000 milliamp hour battery that will support up to at least eight hours of nonstop pat podcasting. This doesn't have a built-in recorder, so if you want to record something, you're going to have to plug something in, such as your phone. You can actually just broadcast to a, a different audio recorder, your phone, or in this case, I have it connected directly to my computer. Looks like the built-in sounds are supposed to be the following, and for whatever reason, they're not loaded in this particular case. Oh, you know why? Because it's only compatible with the Windows operating system. So if you are on a Mac, you're going to experience some weird things. In fact, actually, it says so right here. This is a letter to backers of Monocaster. Just full disclosure, I'm not the one that actually backed this. I'm just doing this little first impressions review here. So it says here, the Monocaster raised $716,088 from 3,384 backers on Kickstarter. And they just want to say a little bit about the story. The key part is that they want to bring a product that allows normal people like you and me to be able to do the podcast and live streaming on the go without something hefty and very expensive. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that. All right. Um, so the thing is they discovered a compatibility issue with Mac OS in a very late stage of testing. While recording devices as expected, audio stutters may occasionally appear during audio playback when connected Mac OS devices. I think that might be attributing to the sound that I'm hearing right now. Uh, they invested a lot of effort to try to find a fix, but had to give up due to the special USB implementation of Mac OS. We did not want to ship the flawed product to our backers, so we published an update regarding the issue and started working on a partial redesign to make the product compatible with both Mac Windows and Mac. So they deeply apologize for this significant delay. They're thankful for the faith and support of their backers. Uh, let's see, more than 90% of backers chose to wait for a revised product rather than cancel their pledges. Aside from the fix for macOS compatibility, they had some minor features and performance improvements based on backer feedback. After shipping to our backers, it says we will start working on new model Monocaster. We aim to bring more pro features while still keeping it super affordable. When it launches on Kickstarter next year, special discounts or free add-ons will be given to all backers of this first one. So they're saying if you love it, go ahead and... If you're experiencing an issue, to email them and to check the user manual to software download. Now, I will say right now what I'm hearing is a little bit of an echo or delay. That part is getting a little bit annoying and something that uh, maybe I need to do. There's a little... I'm recording this first impressions conclusion about a day later. 
as after I just finished some of the editing, I'm pretty impressed by the sound quality that you get from this whole entire package. That was from Kickstarter, which included two microphones. One of them is a phantom powered condenser cardioid microphone, which is the type that you typically want to do when you are doing a podcast or some sort of voiceover work. It sounds pretty good. And then the automatic noise reduction filter that you can switch on or off in the back actually did a really good job of canceling out all the noise around me, which is fantastic if you're working from home like a lot of us are during this whole corona outbreak. So I think that um, as a $200 price point with the two microphones, the whole entire mixer, a set of studio headphones, it's a really, really great deal. But as for me, since I already have the Rodecaster Pro, there's no point for me to actually try to get one of these uh, to do a more extensive review and have access to a PC to test out a bunch of these other items. Unless you specifically want me to, you can just go ahead and comment down below. I'll see if I can borrow this again and plug it into a PC to get some of these other functions that I was not able to test going for you. But I'm really, really impressed by the sound quality for what you get. The entire package is running about $200 retail right now and uh, I did not try the lavalier microphone which is also included but that can plug directly into your smartphone if you need to or even just directly to another mic input in order to record as well. So overall I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the brand and I think that with some software updates maybe some firmware updates that you can clearly do later through the USB interface should be a resolve a lot of the weird issues that I was experiencing with the Mac and that I talk about in this video as well. So if you're interested in checking this out, please check out my link down below. It links directly to Mono's products available on Amazon.com right now. If you purchase anything from there, even if it's not in Monocast or use my link, uh, I get a little small commission. Um, and finally, this video is not sponsored by anything. I didn't get any of these products for free. These were not sent to me for review. This just so happens that someone else is going to be using this for their own podcasting purposes. So I just got a chance to play with it. All right, that's it for this video. Please go to like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you next one. Thanks for watching.